I'm Travis, and my branch of Army was Army active duty. That was from 99 to 2006, where I served in Germany for three years, Fort Hood and Iraq, and Kuwait 040506. And then I got out for a little while, about a year, and went back in at the Army National Guard here in Arkansas. When I was in Iraq, I did base security, convoy security, raids, and transport of equipment and personnel. It's an awakening to get hit by an ID. I mean, you know, if you're one of the fortunate ones get the up-armored vehicle, it don't do too much but rock the vehicle back and forth. And if you're one of the unlucky ones, it could shred the vehicle in pieces. It makes you realize you're not Superman after all. When I first got out of the Army in 06, I didn't notice too much at all, but that's because my job, occupation, I chose. I, you know, I went from the Army to driving a truck out here. I was on my own. Nobody to bother me. Didn't have anybody around, so I didn't really notice too much. I had a flashback once, though. It wasn't a bad flashback, per se, because I knew where I was at. But I called it a flashback because I was parked in a parking lot for the night. And a kid wanted, a little bitty kid, like three or four, wanted to see my truck because they're real interested in big trucks. <laughs> and the mother said it was OK. As soon as the kid got up to my truck, I reached inside of the cab of the truck for a gun that wasn't there and told the kid to back off where I would shoot. Everybody kept saying I needed help and I kept refusing it. My eye opener was when I almost got my wife fired from her job because I opened my mouth and threatened somebody because they were irritating her. And that was my awakening. That's when I said, no, enough is enough. I, I got to have help. I went to the VA and enrolled myself in everything they had. Going to visual arts therapy is supposed to help you express how you feel. And then I'm going to PTSD symptom management. And then I'm going to a PTSD support group led by the vet center. The symptom management one I like the most because my wife's able to come to it with me. So she's able to remember things I can't remember and help me through it because I have all the support system from the VA, but my wife is my biggest support because I'm with her all the time. And the support group at the vet center has helped me quite a bit just because I'm able to talk to the other veterans and hear their stories and, you know, actually get out everything I need to get out to somebody that knows what it's like. I know what's going on with me now. Now I know how to treat it. I'm on Zoloft right now, and that's mostly for the anger. And the tools they gave me was basically keep a journal, write everything down, um, to always talk, never hold nothing in. I gotta say, it's not easy. You're gonna cry a lot because you're opening the floodgates. It's very worth it. I mean, every tear I shed, even now, I mean, every tear I shed, it, it gets that much better. I mean, before, I couldn't even leave the house. If I did, I'd be breaking out in sweats. I've learned a lot of compromising mostly on my part you know like i finally got like my daughter she likes to go skating at the skating ring and i can't do it i mean a bunch of kids rowdy loud they don't know the sense of personal space you know but i i take her there and i spend most of the time outside <laughs> but i do go in to check on her buy her drinks you know watch her skate around a couple of times you know so i manage in the Compromise for her. It makes me real happy now because I'm making her happy. The only thing I can say to any veteran, you know, that's coming back from Iraq now or came back from Iraq years ago or Vietnam era even, any veteran, it's hard, but it's well worth to get help.